In part B, we are trying to figure out how much interest is earned during the entire 45 year process, okay? If you go back to, up to part A, okay, think about what transpired. Okay, so you've got this person um, who spent the first 30 years um, saving for retirement. So they made these monthly contributions of $100 into their retirement account. Okay, so the money grew through these regular deposits and through the um, accrual of the interest. Okay, and then the person retired and then they started withdrawing money from this nest egg from which to live on okay, after they retired. Okay, so the interest, okay, we're, we're talking about interest in part B. Okay, there was interest involved in both phases of the retirement here, okay? Um, during the savings part, okay, they put in those regular deposits, but the money in the account was accruing interest, okay? And then once they started withdrawing money from the account, okay, yes, money was coming out of the account, but whatever money was still in the account was still earning interest, okay? So the savings phase happened for a 30-year period, the withdrawal phase happened for a 15-year period, so there's a total of 45 years, okay, and we're trying to figure out how much interest was involved both from the savings phase and the withdrawal phase combined, okay? So you might find this problem a little bit challenging to think about, okay? Um, the, the key to understanding this problem is understanding the total amount of money involved in the problem, okay? So again, we know what happened, okay? The person saved up a nest egg, okay? They put in $100 every month for 30 years. The money grew through those deposits, through the interest. And then that nest egg, once they retired, they started withdrawing money um, out of that account. So money was coming out, but it was still growing in a sense because the money was still earning interest. So ultimately, this whole 45-year process, what, what was the result of it, okay? Well, the result of it was this account out of which the person could withdraw $1,229.66 every month for 15 years, okay? Everything that was done resulted in that. The person being able to take out $1,229.66 every month for 15 years, okay? And then once that last withdrawal was made, it brought the balance of the account to zero, okay? So what you can think of this, you can think of this amount in, in a couple of different ways, okay? So this is the total amount paid out to the retiree, okay? But it's also, in a sense, this is the total amount of money involved in the whole problem. Okay? Involved in both the savings aspect and the withdrawal phase. Okay? This is the total amount of money involved in the whole problem. Okay? All right. So, some of this is interest. How much of it is? Okay? Well, this is the total amount of money paid out to the retiree. It's the total amount of money involved in the whole problem. All we need to do from this amount to figure out how much of it is interest, we need to take out the total of the retiree's contributions. Okay, because remember, during the savings phase, they made contributions to the account. Okay, how much did they contribute? Well, they put in $100 every month for 30 years, okay? So their contributions totaled 100 times 12 times 30, okay? All right, so if we subtract these two numbers, the total amount of money involved in the problem, taking out what the person actually contributed to this account, that should give us the total amount of interest, okay? So let's go pop this into the calculator, okay? So we're gonna get $1,229.66 times 12 times 15, okay? Subtract out the $100 contributions per month for 30 years, okay? And this is the amount of interest, okay, that was involved over the 45-year period, okay? $185,338.80, okay?
okay? That is interest from both the savings phase and the amount of interest that accumulated from the withdrawal phase, okay? So here is the answer to part B.